All right, welcome back. Um, we will start section 2.2, L'Hopital's rule for zero over zero, infinity inf over infinity in this video. All right, our goal is to state L'Hopital's rule and use it to evaluate limits of type zero over zero and infinity over infinity. And in fact, L'Hopital's rule as is only applies to zero over zero and infinity over infinity. If you want to apply it to the other indeterminate forms that we talked about in the last section, uh, you need to be clever and do some algebra first. All right, let's start with the statement of a L'Hopital's rule. So theorem 2.1, a uh, 2.2.1 L'Hopital's rule. Suppose the limit as x goes to um, a of f of x is zero, and the limit as x goes to a of g of x is zero, then if you want to compute this limit, you're going to get zero over zero. Uh, L'Hopital tells you that you can replace it with f prime over g prime. All right, so you take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and as long as this last limit exists or is plus or minus infinity, it's going to be equal to the original one. All right, suppose that the limit as x goes to a of f of x is infinity. Again, here I mean plus or minus infinity. The limit of g is also infinity. Then again, you could replace this by f of x derivative, g of x derivative, sorry, this is my derivative is missing. And you can do this as long as this last limit exists. All right, so because this rule only applies to zero over zero or infinity over infinity, I want you to check before applying it. So you will be asked to identify the type so either zero over zero or infinity of the over infinity of the limit before applying L'Hopital's rule. You may need to apply L'Hopital's rule more than once. Whenever you do apply L'Hopital's rule, you'll write equals h because it really looks like a completely different limit. So it looks like you <laughs> had a stroke and went crazy. So you have to tell me I'm using L'Hopital's rule. That's going to make a much clearer argument. And L'Hopital's rule also apply to limits of types. So here I had limit as x goes to a. Well, if you have limit as x goes to a minus, limit x goes to a plus, limit x goes to positive infinity, limits x goes to minus infinity. Any of those types of limits, the same theorem applies. You just put a plus here, you put a plus here. Whatever type of limit you have here, you put the same one on that side. All right, so I think we're ready for a couple of examples. Let's try this one. Limit as x goes to zero of two x e to the x minus one. So if I plug in zero, I'll get two times zero and e to the 0 minus 1. e to the 0 is 1, so I get 0 over 0. All right, I have 0 over 0. Um, in Cal 1, you would factor, but you can't factor this. So this is a limit that you wouldn't have been able to solve in Cal 1. Um, the denominator is too complicated. It's not an algebraic expression. But because I have 0 over 0, we're allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. And so I'm going to replace this by the limit where I take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. And so I get 2 over e to the x. And now if I plug in 0 to this new limit, I get 2 over 1, I get 2. And so the original limit is 2 as well. It's pretty nice, no? <laughs> I really like this. All right, let's try the next one. Limit as x goes to infinity of x over ln of x. I can hear you cringe. You don't like ln of x. You're going to see it a bit, though. It's a bit important in commerce. So we tend to use it. Um, remember the graph. That's going to help you. We're going x goes to infinity. That means we're going that way, and so the curve is going up, so the limit's going to be infinity. So here I'm going to get plus infinity over log of plus infinity. Again, don't forget the cheating brackets, right? I can't plug in infinity into log. I'm thinking of a limit as x goes to infinity, but it's a nice shorthand that helps me figure out what's going on. So I'm going 
to positive infinity as x goes to infinity, so I get infinity over infinity. It's one of the limits on which I'm allowed to apply L'Hopital, right? I'm allowed to apply it on these two types, and that's it. So this is the second type. I'm going to apply L'Hopital. I'm going to get a new limit. Derivative of x, derivative of ln of x. This is what I get. Um, if I want to bring this to the top, I need to flip it. And so I'm going to get x over 1, so x. So I'm getting plus infinity. By the way, having plus infinity here tells you that the top of this fraction is growing to infinity faster than the bottom is. In fact, if I grew, if I grew, if I drew both, you would see y equals x is going straight up while ln of x is slightly curving down. And so it's true that y equals x is growing faster.